Greetings, welcome back to Fable Free. Let's talk to the priestess about restoring some old temple. If I remember correctly, god damn it. Okay, thank you very much. But first of all, I wanna look around for some treasure, like this book here. And that I know them all. Cuisine, ha! every dish ever prepared, I've eaten it. Inventions, that was me. I invented them. Oh, and I wrote this book. Not impressed? Well, you would be if you knew I was illiterate huh? and paralyzed and blind. And I guess mused too. Your Majesty, welcome to our temple. I lament the forlorn state in which you find it. Before the darkness came, this room held our most sacred treasure. Okay. I have lost all hope of recovering it, for that would require journeying into the desert. We have lost so many people. Who among us would have the courage to face the sands now? Me, I guess. You will forgive me for not being more forthright. I am unaccustomed to asking rulers for their help. As for the matter in question, this chamber once housed the temple's sacred dyes. Our rituals cannot be completed without them. The dyes are made from rare flowers oh. from Aurora and the surrounding desert. Gathering them has always been a dangerous task. But when the darkness fell upon us, it became an impossible one. I have some of them. Find these flowers and bring them to me. I will begin making the dyes again, and perhaps our people can recover some of the faith they have lost. We will gladly share them with you, of course. I don't think I need your dyes, but I have some for you. Some of the flowers. Half of all Aurorans. I thank you. The no problem. Eye represents our dreams. It is worn by those who wish to find wisdom in their sleeping state. The red die represents love in our culture whether that shared between betrothed couples or parents and their children the orange dye represents strength in ancient times, our fiercest warriors would wear it whenever they went into battle. The green dye represents growth, whether through birth or learning. Yeah, and that is all I can give to you right now. We miss blue and some other flowers. We miss two, if I remember correctly. So, damn. Really hope we can get food here, if I remember correctly. There are outdoors. Let me see as well as something. And that is all we can do for now. So let's get back to our castle.
and let's settle the matters waiting for us. Gentlemen, the King. This hearing concerns the future of the Bowerstone Shelter and Orphanage. Paige will speak for the disenfranchised people of the city. Reaver will dispute her cause. You may speak. Your Majesty, the shelter has long been the only refuge for the homeless, the poor, and the orphaned. And until we can change the whole world for the better, it will continue to be their only hope of survival. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The shelter is underfunded and the building has fallen into disrepair. Invest in the shelter and orphanage and perhaps we can begin to create a better future for Albion's forgotten people. I could not agree more. The city and its people are in dire need. But it is not charity they require, it is love. I propose we use this dilapidated building to help both them and ourselves. For love and money have always gone hand in hand. Let us inaugurate Bowerstone's first brothel. A brothel? A brothel, bordello, whorehouse. The name is unimportant. What matters is that the people get the love they need, and we get their money. Yes, it's for your majesty to decide. Refurnish the shelter and orphanage, or convert it into a house of ill repute. The poor of this city have suffered enough. We will renovate the shelter and orphanage. The Ballastone shelter shall be refurbished. At the Crown's expense. Thank you, Your Majesty. You've done the right thing. As you wish, Your Majesty. The parentless tykes and their destitute friends shall have a palace to call their own. Are you a beggar? Too lazy to own your own clothes? Or perhaps an orphan? aching for a bowl of gruel, then come to Reaver Industries Shelter and Orphanage, where you'll find food, beds, clothes, and even new parents. No matter who you are, we care, even if you don't deserve it. Today, you will deal with a pressing environmental issue, the disposal of the city's waste. Reaver will offer his proposal. A member of the Morningwood community will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, I'm sure you will have noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late, even more nauseating than usual. I fear it is not merely the stench of the underprivileged. Bowerstone is beginning to have a serious waste disposal issue. We require an inexpensive and efficient solution, and I believe I have hit upon one. Uh, now, currently, part of our waste is being disposed of in the Morningwood Marsh. With very little effort, Riva Industries could redirect all of the Bowerstone sewer system to flow directly into that region. As you know, it's a desolate place with no financial or cultural value to the kingdom. There could be little discussion as to the logic of this decision. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. Not right at all. We're all children of the soil. It's in our hearts. It's in our blood. It's under our fingernails. What I mean is we're all equal when it comes to dirt, like. From dirt we come to dirt we go, yes? We who reside in Morningwood have as good a claim to being clean as anyone. And what of Morningwood itself? Its nature spirits, its woodland elves, and water fairies. Do they not deserve freedom from pollution too? 
Don't destroy paradise with your urban dregs, man. Channel the waste. Be one with the cycle of life. You have all these, like, factories and stuff, don't you? Turn one into a, you know, a, what do you call it? One of those things, a, a sewage reclamation facility, right on. What shall you decide, your majesty? Morning wood is to be left unspoilt. We will find other ways to deal with Bowerstone sewage problem. The king has spoken. Morning wood shall not be used as a waste site. The sanitation committee will look into safer alternatives. Groovy. You are like a majestuous eagle, your majesty. You are in touch with your inner, your inner innards. Granny Nature thanks you from, like, the bottom of her heart. A pity. I must admit I was rather looking forward to breathing fresh air, but I'm sure your majesty knows best. It's not like I had any other choice. Really. Opening of the Bowerstone Sewage Recycling Facility. Because there can be no affluence without effluence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's left for today is meeting with Paige. Is over, your Majesty. Only yeah. one more appointment left. Paige has requested a meeting in the old rebel headquarters. Okay. How very cloak and dagger. I wonder what she wants. Well, she wants me to do something for her, apparently. Wait, what? My quests are gone? All of my quests are gone? No. Okay, just some of my quests. What the hell? Okay. Maybe you will get our last silver key, which I constantly forget to get. Although, do I really need it? I guess it's more like achievement for achievement right now than for any silver chest. And in addition, I still don't remember where the headquarters are right now. Yes, thank you for asking. Oh, and it's nicer now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll get that off your hands. I don't know which one it was. I think it's that one. Come on, give that to me. Thank you. Maybe it was there? Yeah, it did. No, oh, an address form. Welcome. Okay, it wasn't better. It's open now. Okay. Hmm. Where the hell am I right now? Okay, yeah, we've been in this factory from... What? Where? Okay. Thank you. Nice rare jet, that's always nice to have. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is the factory used to run away with... Or not. Oh, goddammit, it's so windy today. Okay, there's treasure chest and our silver key was up there. So how the hell can we get up there? Right now. Okay, yes, yes, I know doggy, there's a trusty on the other side, but I wanna know how to get up there. I don't think we can lower it anyway. So up here, okay. Here we have it. Nice. 
we only need three more silver keys once in one is in the old quarters and the other one I have no idea okay and I might be lazy to get over it then oh I don't really want to get that chesty don't really care too much about that Oh, no, 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 we've read that already. I think we've read that two times. No. Where's the place? Isn't that nice? If you say so. Wait, let me take a look. Yeah, we have all silver keys from here. We need one here. Also, it's not old quarters in Bowerstone Market. Oh, and two in Millfields, right. Is there? I'm pretty sure this is the headquarters there. No, you cannot. Is it here? No. Where the hell is that? Okay, it was somewhere near the reverse factory. I think it was somewhere here or no this is the sewer we used to get yeah, it's just sewer this is where we used to get back the engagement ring for some guy I don't wanna dive I think it's somewhere there, the other side. Because I clearly remember having the ca uh, the canal on the left hand side going down. Yeah, it's here. I don't know why my. Mm. I'm getting so lost in towns. It's always easier to walk around woods and such. And Paige should be around here. Okay. Hello. It's not every day a king walks into the rebel headquarters. You've changed the world since we last stood here. You had a lot to do with it, Paige. But we still haven't changed things enough. Without Logan's troops, crime is becoming a serious problem. There's one man in particular, Nigel Ferret. He's making this city his own. Every criminal in Bowerstone reports to him now. He's too powerful for me to deal with, and he's not easy to find. But I know how you can get to him. Okay, but we already met with Ferret. He lives to his name. Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. It's not gonna end well. In if you get there in time, you can stop the raid. And at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up. Okay. Are you going with me or no? I'm on my own. Gotcha. Of course I'm on my own. Well, and the tavern is on the right hand side, it's here. Is it open? Okay, I have to hold it. That makes some sense. If you cooperate, you won't get hurt. If you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now. Just so you know we mean business, I'd like one of you to give us trouble, so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh look, we have a volunteer. The king, no less. Have at him, fellas. Are you serious? Oh, I love it. Anyone want to give me some trouble? 
Anyone else? Really? Any more trouble? It is no longer advantageous oh. for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new center of operations in Ballastone Market. Okay. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavor to prevent its transference to an unauthorized individual. Okay, it's somewhere here. I, s I think it's somewhere in the sewers. Oh, come on. Thank you. Move, move, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. I'm trying to find way into secret hideout, which I think I saw definitely not around here. I saw some doors. I think it's there. Is there a way for me to get up there? Yes, there is. Okay. I hope those are doors we were looking for. If not, then... I'm in trouble. <laughs> we're somewhere here? Yeah, I think it's here. Because, well, those are... God damn it! Really? Okay, there are another doors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put two set of doors underneath a bridge? Oh well. Okay, we're inside the hideout. Hello. You again. Yep. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout. If your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. I'll kill him fast. No one Good luck. And in the meantime, just looking around for some collectibles. Okay, that didn't really work. <laughs> well, it shouldn't have worked. I know. Anyone else? No? Wait, I think someone saw it. Okay. Nothing on tables. Need to read. And of course, it's locked. Okay, I'll take the long way round. Are you dead? No. All you had to do was stay down, so I won't see you. Okay. Or just stay on the other side of the temple. Because <laughs> apparently I cannot aim. What's up? Pretty sure. Okay. Man, work, work with me. My dear Bob, you're a ruthless crook and a big booby as well. And since you are a ruthless crook, I'm not signing this letter so that I can remain anonymous. <laughs> Yours, Arthur. Oh. Good job, Arthur. I think we know how he died. No, if he's is dead. That is. Can I open it? Oh, I can. Hello. Who are you? Okay, you're just some random guy that I've set free. No, I won't stop. Is it, is it closed? Oh, it's open. Is this the right... Oh, there's a silver key. Okay, and I think there's some more thing around. What the hell? 
Do you have your... Is that a companion cube? Can I open it? No. Okay, but it is a hope with companion cube. Interesting. Surely it's interesting. Hey, give me that. Thank you. And we only need two from the mill fields. Okay, that can be arranged later. That is because we need to deal with hops to get those other keys. Is there anything here? No, nothing. Always on the look for. Always on the lookout for some stuff to collect. I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. You really should stop talking in such way. People may stop liking you because you they will feel your thinking of yourself too highly. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but just, oh my god, what was that? You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, your majesty, I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. But that's for the king to decide. You of course I'm not gonna get, take the bribe. Grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. Good luck getting out of there. Okay, my doggy wants something from us. No! No, don't take me away. I'm pretty sure uh, there on the desk was something for me to read. Ah. You have made great Go back there. Witness the glory of your treasury. Don't you just want to go swimming in all that? Glory? No. But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking law. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you can imagine, this has proved a rather unpopular measure. And yet, yeah. respected members of the community think the law does not go far enough. They would like alcohol consumption wholly abolished among the commoners. They feel, rather reasonably, that it leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. These concerned nobles are willing to pay handsomely for the change in policy. Meanwhile, the commoners themselves would like the restrictions completely lifted, claiming they infringe upon their freedom and their rights. You cannot please everyone, your majesty, but you must make a decision. Should I really care that commoners drink? I will it remove the drinking happen. limit. As you wish, let the streets be filled with poor drunken revelers. Perhaps it will take their minds off their impending doom. Yeah, this that's my lead. This will leave a noticeable gap in our budget, however. 
If you are feeling particularly generous, there's no gap. You may wish to make a personal donation to bridge that gap. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. It's a shame that I cannot really keep the transfer of my gold to the treasury constant that, that, that I have to do it each time myself. Rule on the possible reopening of Brightwell Academy, consider a proposal to dream Barrel Lake, meet with a concerned and wealthy citizen. River? Samuel, no, not River. I remember it, it's not River. Okay. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason as all. Oh, you little slithering thing. Because I can't call you a person. Can I go back there? Burst. Oh, my quests are back? Yeah, my quests are back. Interesting. That really is interesting. <laughs> okay, I don't think we have. Whoa, don't do it. Hmm. I will. I might check later which books we still need. Hello, hello. Today you decide on the status of the Bright Wall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Riva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished, and so did the people of Brightwall. I ask only that you return to the wisdom of those days. Your brother closed the academy down, but it is in your hands to restore it. There is no greater proponent of the arts than myself, and I celebrate knowledge in all its forms. But our people are frightened and confused. The last thing they need is knowledge. Allow them the benefit of ignorance. Let only those who are truly prepared make use of the academy. The elite of our society will pay handsomely to indulge in erudition. Uh, but, but, but only the rich will be able to afford to learn. Precisely. Why give wisdom away when one can charge for it? What do you wish to do, Your Majesty? The Brightwall Academy will be open to all who wish to learn. The Bright Wall Academy shall be reopened, and Albion will once again have a free center of learning. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. This is the start of a new day for us all. Very well. I will make the arrangements at once. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. Everyone. From the most impoverished genius to the wealthiest idiot is welcome. Brightwall Academy. Whatever you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reba. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reba will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metals. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home, but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. 
Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. Don't take it away from us. You'll be taking away part of this city's soul with it. Oh, really? Now that we've finally freed the people of this city, are we going to destroy the one place they can find peace? The decision is yours to make, Your Majesty. Page is right. We must protect our natural resources. Bower Lake is to be left untouched. The King has ruled. Bower Lake's natural beauty is hereby protected by order of the Crown. Thank you. Let's show the world Albion is worth defending. Is a pretty view worth more than a treasury full of gold? I bow to your greater wisdom. As someone whose home has overlooked the resplendent Bower Lake, I am pleased to declare the official protection of this natural wonder. May its water drown anyone who doesn't appreciate its beauty. I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, your majesty. And I will. But we'll do it tomorrow. For now, stay alive and see you soon.